In this short video, I will show you how to use the Salesforce Translation Workbench to add translations for standard and custom fields. So whenever you are using Salesforce in a language other than English, a lot of translations will be provided automatically by the platform. Nevertheless, for any new custom fields you create, or even the default picklist values of some fields, the translations usually need to be added manually. As you can see, I'm currently logged in as a German user. Most of the fields automatically have been translated accordingly, but looking for example at this pick list, we still see values that have an English name. Also, there is a custom field I created for this purpose, which is called demo English field, which also has no German translations. So why is that? This is because there are currently no translations added for these fields, and we need to add these manually using the translation workbench. For this purpose, I will switch back to an admin account. So right now I'm logged in back as an admin, and if we want to add a translation, we will do so by going to the setup and then search for the translation workbench. We just can type in translate in the quick find box, wait a bit, then click on it. And the first time you use the translation workbench, you will need to enable it. Just click on enable. And then you can activate certain languages for translation as well as add new languages. In our case, we want to make translation for German. So we just click on edit, clicking on active, and then we will have the options to add translators for this language. So for example, if you have a colleague who's German, he or she should be able to make German translations. You can do so by clicking on add and you also need to make sure that you will give a certain permission set which is called view setup and configuration for this user so the user can use the translation workbench and create translations click on save and afterwards we can start creating translations by typing in translate in the quick find box again click on translate and now we are able to filter for the component we want to create translations for. In our case, we want to make a German translation for, for example, the picklist value. The picklist value is located on the account object. And for us, it was the rating picklist values. Click on it. And then by double clicking, right next to it, we can create a translations. For example, cold would be kalt in German. And then we can make different translations as well for the next objects. Afterwards, click Save. And now if we want to add a translation for our custom field, we again can filter for it by going for custom field on the account object, we want to translate the field label. And then we could search for our demo English field field label. And we could just write demo German field. Click Save. And you are done. 